So for the past couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of research and experimenting with VPNs, trying to figure out how effective they actually are when it comes to getting these so-called bot lobbies in Call of Duty. This is where a better than average player can essentially bypass the skill-based matchmaking system and get into lobbies full of low-skilled players and sometimes just straight up bots. My investigation has been eye-opening and let's just say that there is some shady stuff I've uncovered, but that is all gonna be coming out later this week in a bigger video so if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss it what i want to talk about today is the rise in popularity of some of these game specific vpns such as no lag vpn sbmm off and lobby god which are three of the most popular from my research many of us are familiar with vpn services such as expressvpn or surfshark there's a lot of other ones and they're all legitimate vpns meaning they will be able to encrypt all or even just some of your internet traffic, and they all do a good job of doing that. However, if you've ever tried using any of these VPNs to change your location in an attempt to get easier lobbies, you will find that you will either simply not be able to get into a lobby, or you're gonna be met with that dreaded 200 ping connection, which can sometimes take upwards of like 20 minutes to actually get into a lobby, if you get in at all. That's where platforms like No Lag VPN and Lobby God come in. Their VPNs will be able to spoof your location with without affecting your connection speed. The way they do that is unlike a real VPN, which runs everything flowing from your computer through an encryption service, these Call of Duty VPNs will only route the game through their service. Now I've tested these services. In fact, you can test Lobby God yourself totally free without even having to enter a credit card. And while I will cover the effectiveness of these services later this week, I can confirm that they do indeed change your location without having any negative effect on your connection speed. Now, when I saw this, I thought, wait a minute, I, I'm already paying for Surfshark. And in Surfshark settings, you have the ability to route specific applications through their VPN. Meaning I could have just Call of Duty running through a foreign server while everything else on my PC is flowing through my fast server right here in the US. Yet no matter what I tried, I would still get those slow unplayable speeds that wouldn't get me into any lobbies. And this has been my experience, not just on Surfshark, but on many major VPN services. The reason this happens is because even though just the game is running through Surfshark, it's the entire game that's running through it. So that means all of the files and packets, all of that is going through this slow server. Whereas what these Call of Duty VPNs are actually doing is they are only routing the matchmaking connection within the game. And that is where Activision sees your location. Everything else in the game just runs on your normal connection. So after doing a little digging, I found this post on Reddit and I'm going to link to that in the description below. But this guy shows how you can use your existing VPN that you're already paying for and create your own version of no lag VPN. And it's really easy to do. I'm gonna show you in this video just how easy it is. Now to be clear, you still need a VPN service to do this. And personally, I think VPNs are well worth the money, especially if you're using internet in public places or while traveling. And right now I am personally using Surfshark. I like it a lot. The interface is super easy to use. There's no limit on the number of devices you can use it on. And quite frankly, it's one of the cheapest VPNs out there. And I'd rather pay a few bucks for a VPN that actually encrypts my data instead of a pretend VPN that not only costs more, but the only thing it can do is just spoof the location like for my video games. I'll link to Surfshark below. And while they are not sponsoring this video, it is an affiliate link, which does help finance more content like this to be created. Uh, but I just want you to know that I really do enjoy Surfshark. I could easily push something like ExpressVPN or even just do a video telling you that you need no lag VPN because both of those companies pay way more money than what Surfshark pays with their commissions. I say this because I don't want you to think that this is some sort of cash grab video. I'm doing this because despite evidence, which we'll cover later this week, that puts a question mark over these VPNs, I know that there are still going to be people who are gonna rush out and pay money for these services because they are that desperate for a win. So if you are one of those people, no judgment here, but at least buy yourself a real VPN so that you get something for your money. Now, what I'm gonna do now is hop on over to that PC behind me and show you how quickly you can build your own Call of Duty VPN for free using your existing VPN. All right, so you can see that I'm here in Call of Duty and we're just gonna go to uh, the settings, account and network. And I just wanna show you that here I am in Utah. I don't have any VPN services 
turned on. Over on this page here with Surfshark, they have this documentation that kind of nicely sh uh, explains how to do what this person on Reddit is, is saying, with the exception of this one IP address, which we'll come back to in a second. So I'll link to this down below. If you're not using Surfshark and you're using, I mean, many of the other major uh, VPN services can do this. Just search for something like how to set up a VPN manually and then whatever your uh, service provider is, and they will bring you to a page like this. And the cool thing is, is you don't, this, I, I'm going to show you how to do this on PC, but you can follow the instructions to essentially accomplish this on anything. It's just a little bit more work on something like a PlayStation or Xbox, but it's absolutely possible. Um, so with Windows, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to download this WireGuard app. It's a free open source app. I've you, you can click here. It'll have a link or you can just search for it on Google. I've already installed it and you can see it right over here. I've already set up so I can have like uh, Egypt and South Africa I did for some testing. But what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run through how to add a new location. So I'm just going to hop over to Surfshark and you're going to want to go to VPN and then manual setup. Again, whatever VPN you're using will have something very similar. We're going to be on desktop or mobile and it will bring you to this WireGuard. So when I click on WireGuard, uh, the thing that we're going to want to select is I don't have a key pair. Now you can see that the cool thing with Surfshark is they have a ton of locations and you can kind of Google around and, and look on Reddit in terms of like what supposedly are the best locations to get bot lobbies from people. I'll hear Egypt, South Africa, Turkey comes up a lot. So let's go ahead and we want to set up one for Turkey. So I'm just verifying that yes, they do have Turkey. So now I'm going to go back over here to our credentials and we're gonna say I don't have a key pair. Now I have made other key pairs that you can see here. Uh, I've got one for South Africa and then one for Egypt, but you're just gonna make a new key pair for every single location. Maybe you don't have to do that, but that's what I've done and it's worked. So I don't have a key pair. We're just gonna call this COD and then uh, I like to keep it organized by just putting the name of the location. We're gonna generate a new pair. Yes, you're gonna see a public and private don't care because I'm going to delete all this when it's all done. So now we're just going to go and choose a location. We're going to go back down to that Turkey and there it is Turkey. And we're going to click on this download. And what this did is it went ahead and paired the, the uh, keys with this document all for us. So now we're just going to click on download and it's going to download this weird, uh, like dot C O N F file. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull it over here. And you can see the new file is right here. What you're going to want to do is open this with Notepad. I'm on Windows 11, so like if you're on Windows 10, it'll look more like this. But we're going to go open with, and then we're going to select Notepad. And I'm just going to say always, so I don't have to do that ever again. But here it is over here now, the configuration file already done for us. The private key is in there. The public key is in there. However, the one thing we need to change is this, the allowed IPs. This is what's going to tell this specific VPN connection to essentially only pass through this one little uh, IP address. And that right here, this is the one that goes to those uh, Call of Duty servers. So when we go ahead and copy that from Reddit, and I'll try to paste that into the uh, description as well, both to this actual post, as well as the I, uh, IP address. We're just gonna go ahead and paste that right in. And then we're just gonna hit save. There we go. So now it's saved as is. And then over here in WireGuard, we're gonna click on add tunnel. And again, we've downloaded WireGuard. We've got it set up. It doesn't take too long. We're gonna click add tunnel. And then we're gonna go to this one, which we know it was that one I just uh, downloaded and saved. And you can see everything is in here. We've got the right IP address. To make it easy, what I like to do is I click on, I right click on it and then go to edit selected tunnel. And then I'm just gonna change the name. And I don't believe there can be any spaces on it. Um, so if, we, if you have like a location that has two, they'll, they'll need to be, uh, you know, no spaces. So we're going to do Turkey save. And now you can see I've got another location and it's as easy as just clicking activate. You'll see that little pop-up right here. So it shows that we are now running through Turkey and it's only my call of duty connection. So now I'm going to go back open to, uh, I'm going to go back to Battle.net and I'm going to open up call of duty and I'm actually going to see if the location is being spoofed and does Activision think that we are in 
turkey? Let's find out. All right, so we're in Call of Duty. And again, if you, you want to double check your connection here, so we're going to click on settings. We're going to go to account and network. And then we're going to go to network info. And you can see I am no longer in uh, Utah as my real connection is in Utah, but Call of Duty thinks that I am in Turkey. We can see the uh, corresponding IP addresses there. And let's go ahead and join a match. And you can see I'm not getting the immediate, you know, 200 ping that you would get with a quote unquote normal VPN service. We're still using SurfGuard's servers, but we're essentially telling SurfGuard in a much more, SurfGuard in a much more specific way how to um, or, or exactly what to funnel through here. And this is about how long it takes. I just did one on my Utah connection and I was at the moment, I got in at the 48 MS ping. We got in on the same one here. So once you are done playing, you can just uh, go right back to your WireGuard application and click deactivate. You'll get that confirmation there. And now it's no longer running through there. And the beauty is, is I can just easily um, go through and just now I'm playing in Egypt or now I'm playing in South Africa. It's even easier to use than no lag VPN, but that's all those services are doing is they're essentially just doing a little bit of that legwork for you and charging you a bunch of money for it. And the beauty is, is now I can still use my normal Surfshark connection and actually get that good solid encryption for my daily activities. One thing to note is that when you switch the location, you will have to reboot Call of Duty. Usually it will just kick you out immediately anyway, um, but you can't just like, you know, switch from Turkey to South Africa and then suddenly right hop into another lobby immediately. You're going to have to back out. So I usually close it and then I'll switch the location and then open it back up. But that's just, that's not anything specific to this. That's just how it is. Activision will, will kick you out anyway. And then if you want to add more locations, you will literally just rinse and repeat. WireGuard, don't have a key. Type in the name of your next location, pair it with that, download the file and, you know, import it over into WireGuard. That's all you need to do. You can add as many locations as you want and you get the same effect as some of these expensive Call of Duty VPNs without having to pay an extra dollar. By the way, I recorded that whole screen share using this microphone right here from the HS80 RGB wireless headset from Corsair. I'll link to it uh, in this video here as well as down below in the description, but let me know what you thought uh, in terms of audio quality on that. In terms of gaming, this has been my favorite headset to use so far, but I just wanted a second opinion on the microphone. Anyway, hopefully that helps some of you save some cash and I will see all of you later this week to see if VPNs actually get you easier lobbies. Results are interesting. See you soon.